In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Welcome back everyone, Mean Poo here, and this of course is Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Developed by Piranha Games and made an Epic Games Store exclusive, this is the next game in the series. The last game, Mech Warrior Vengeance, was released 19 years ago on November 22nd. The game starts you off getting ready for mech training, and I can't figure out why because you are a commander. Anyway, you meet your dad and he gives you some orders such as look around, following waypoints, and shooting your weapons. He even gives you pointers on where to shoot mechs as there are certain areas that can retard movement or just completely destroy the pilot. These would be things like shooting the legs. This is easy but takes a little longer because of heavy armor. Shooting the cockpit which most of the time is in the center, can render a mech useless as it kills the pilot. It's a little harder to hit, but with practice and a strong enough weapon, you can punch through it. Go watch some Mech Warrior online videos and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. After you are done training, your base is suddenly getting raided and your dad tells you to pretty much run away while he distracts the invaders. I just don't understand why he did this. Get to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. He was simply outgunned and outmanned. It was suicide. They both should have retreated, but for the sake of story, I guess someone important had to die. This kind of reminds me of the Mech Warrior 4 intro, which is far superior. So much time has passed and new technology is available, and this is the best they could do. It's weak, and it's not exactly pretty to look at. We're moving up. We have the royal family aboard. We can't lift off until those Sam ones are taken out. Incoming LRMs, get clear. Look out! Get out of the hangar! Reach out! Reach out! Oh my! Enemy receiving unit. I have contact with main enemy force inside Central Courtyard. I'll delay them here as long as I can.
Anyway, you escape and you are awakened to report to the bridge, which is in the next room. After a talk with Brianna, you head down into the holding bay to talk to a technician. He tells you about your mech and that it's damaged and you will have to use a light mech from now on to do your missions. Accessing the console lets you check the status on mechs being repaired and how long it will take. You can paint them and edit their layout, which consists of adding missiles, lasers, machine guns, etc. Reminds me of MechWarrior Online before that last big update they had. The mech bay is pretty detailed, but could have used a little bit more animation in places. I also thought the movement was quite stiff. The people standing around look like mannequins with robot motions. You head back to the bridge to talk to the Major and to get your first contract. Whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Here you can negotiate a bit, like damage repairs being covered, and how many salvage items you can claim. Accepting the contract will take you to the mech bay in which you will select your mech, any AI pallets, and different loadouts before the drop. This is pretty much how the game goes from here on out. You take contracts, complete them, recover salvage, and build up a lance because it gets quite difficult. Especially the ones that have wave after wave of mechs being dropped in to kill you. Performance on the Acer Nitro 5 is iffy. On the first mission with max settings, I was getting FPS as high as 56, but quickly dropping briefly when the action starts to heat up. The game does not run too well when there are trees or any type of foliage around. The snow or open desert missions play okay, but you will need to adjust your settings. For this test, I played Instant Mission because it has a lot of action to really test this machine out. Here are the results. Even though there is a small increase for every level lower than the settings, it's still not acceptable. Dropping resolution helps just a tad bit, but on every one of my tests, the game at one point or another dropped to a really low FPS, which is very distracting. Playing at 720 is an option, but it's still not a constant 60 FPS. In the end, I did figure out that if you played on missions that were covered in snow or desert-like with low settings, it was very playable. But, as soon as you got around to some buildings, then the FPS dropped. I really wanted to like this game because I am a fan of the series. With the graphics turned up, it really looks nice and just a tad step above MechWarrior Online. The explosions of a mech going critical is a big plus for me, as it was in the older games, and I'm glad to see it here. You have a few actions to direct your AI, such as form on me, weapons free, attack my target. To me, some of the mechs didn't feel heavy enough, and some of the sounds were kind of off on the weapons. The music is bland, Story is generic and you are most likely better off playing MechWarrior Online. I know I've mentioned it enough times, but seriously, you're better off playing that game. That one is free and has many game modes for you to dabble in. 
It's filled with a lot of people that can help you set up your Mac, and there are also online guides and videos. Almost 20 years ago, and this is just sad. I'm just really upset because this is nothing like that first reveal video that was shown some years ago. I know things change, but I'm just saying. Over on Metacritic, the score is falling. Right now, it's sitting at 75 from critics and 5.5 from users. I have no idea how this game can be saved. Multiplayer won't help, as like I said before, there's MechWarrior Online. Co-op is decent if you can get someone to play, and the performance is, you know, terrible, especially if you're using a Nacer or Nitro 5. Maybe the new one with the 650 is a little bit better, but this 1050 still should not behave like it's like it is. It's ugh, aggravating. I know Red Dead Redemption 2 is having the same problems, but at least I can excuse it because of what it has to render. And that one runs really well if you set your settings correctly. This game looks like it's from a few generations back and needs optimizations in the form of a patch. And mods need to be enabled so the community can contribute. The game should have been postponed till it was really ready. And, you know, when, when it was done. You know, I'm not going to harp on it anymore. So that's all I have for now. Mean Poo, out. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Allied forces are attempting to withdraw from this area and need us to screen their retreat. We're to link up with the remaining friendly screening the retreat and hold the enemy forces as long as possible. We have an opportunity for a hefty combat bonus the longer we can hold the enemies back. Destroyed.